geht zu diesen Jeans. Workshop Video, zig vor. Hi there. Today I would like to talk about chain versus belt. Over the years, we have gotten used to this nice looking belt made out of carbon fiber and some Kevlar. Heavy duty, it looks like plastic, but it's definitely not. Why is it that we sometimes like to choose it before this one? This is a good old chain, very well oiled, low friction, nice, but very much cheaper than this one and the components related, which means a rear sprocket and a front sprocket. Well, one of the reasons why you could choose to go for the belt is maybe the price, because if you look at this, you go 20,000 kilometers on your bike. For that, you will need one set of belt, rear sprocket, front sprocket. That will last at least 20,000 kilometers. If you have to do it with a dry train of a regular chain, that will, in my opinion, require at least three chains, three rear sprockets, and one to two front sprockets. Into that, you can include the cost for a good mechanic to change it. Might even it up just a little bit. But there's another thing. What is it that you're going to ride? Well, if you're the maintenance guy, always greases, or oil your chain and make sure that it works very well, you might not look into this one. This is a good old chain that made 4,000 kilometers. It's super dirty. You can see rust and you can see that it's not well frictioned anymore. Compared to that, we have a belt here that actually did the 20,000 kilometers. It is dirty, but the dirt you see here is just dirt. It's actually possible to clean it differently. And if your jeans get stuck in this one, well, it's not going to ruin them like with this one. So we're talking about the difference between one drivetrain versus three drivetrains or one pair of ruined jeans versus no pair of ruined jeans. So the choice is yours. Belt versus chain. Cut.